What is up you guys, Bolty98, and in this video we have tons to cover, carrying over is coming into Modern Warfare 3, and we have tons to look into, let's get into it. So that is correct, we do have carrying forward. Carrying forward is basically the idea from carrying your Modern Warfare 2 stuff, bundles, cosmetic, operators, skins, everything, over to Modern Warfare 3 without a penalty. Basically, you'll be able to use all your guns in Modern Warfare 3 and still have your levels and stuff like that. We're going to talk more about this later. But right now, let's go ahead and talk about does carrying over happen in Warzone. Yes, Modern Warfare 2 Warzone will have carryover. You can use your Modern Warfare 2 guns in Warzone even when the new map drops as centered around Modern Warfare 3. This is sort of what we've seen every time we have a Warzone thing. Basically, they carry over the guns from the old COD and the new COD all in one COD. So, it's going to mess up with balancing, but overall it should work. And Warzone Mobile should allow a carry over with operators weapon blueprints accessible while also connecting your levels yes so it does seem that warzone mobile is actually going to let us level up our main account that we play on our xbox pc or playstation we're not too sure if this means that we'll be able to camo grind and stuff through cod mobile only or if we'll still have to do that through our xbox playstation or pc but this does give us a little more news on that mobile game so basically, go into our skins. All unlocked or bought skins will be brought to Modern Warfare 3 if you don't have a, ba a basic skin unlocked. It will not be available in Modern Warfare 3. Meaning that for the Nova skin, if you didn't unlock that basic skin, then you still don't get her. You only get the bundle skin that you bought. So say you didn't unlock Nova, but you do have like the Tactical Sprint 2.0 skin of her, then yes, that comes. Also, does all cosmetic operator skin content carry forward? Yes, all store-bought items will carry forward to Modern Warfare 3. Everything. If you bought Homelander, you get Homelander in Modern Warfare 3. Now, for example, if operators such as Price are coming back in Modern Warfare 3 and we have a Price in Modern Warfare 2, does that basically get rid of our Modern Warfare 2 one? No, it doesn't. Basically, they're just going to put them in an extra skin slot like we have here and you can see that it will just add another Price skin to where we already have and like I only have one Price unlocked, that's the only one I'll be able to carry to Modern Warfare 3 with me. Do all weapons in Modern Warfare 2 and their blueprints carry forward to Modern Warfare 3? Simple answer, yes. Modern Warfare 2 weapons will be available for Modern Warfare 3 players, although each weapon's associate unlock challenge must be completed before it becomes accessible in Modern Warfare 3. So say you have the Vaznev already unlocked. You just have it. You cannot use the Vaznev in Modern Warfare 3 until you complete the Modern Warfare 3 challenge to then unlock your Vaznev. But once you unlock your Vaznev, you don't have to re-unlock all the attachments. And also say there's DLC weapons that you didn't unlock, such as the automatic shotgun. If you didn't, you can unlock them in Modern Warfare 3 doing a simpler and different challenge in Modern Warfare 3 versus doing it in Modern Warfare 2. Now we talk about camos. Will the camos be carried over? Yes. Yes, camos are going to be carried over. If you got the polyatomic, you carry the polyatomic with you on those weapons. If you got platinum, gold, or Orion, then you carry those weapon camos with you. However, you cannot unlock these camos through Modern Warfare 3. If you are playing Modern Warfare 3 with the MW2 weapon, you cannot unlock the camos. They just can't be unlocked. Also, you cannot mix camos. So, you know how we have the basic camos, like we have solid colors that can go on any Modern Warfare 2 weapon? You cannot then put that camo that you unlocked from Modern Warfare 2 on any Modern Warfare 3 guns. And vice versa. If you have a Modern Warfare 3 gun camo, you cannot put that on Modern Warfare 2. Also, while we're talking about carrying forward, there will be no carrying back. Obvious, obviously, this is like an obvious thing, but I get why they put it here. You cannot carry your gun from Modern Warfare 3 back to Modern Warfare 2 or even unlock Modern Warfare 3 guns from Modern Warfare 2. So you have to get Modern Warfare 3 to play Modern Warfare 3. Makes sense because obviously they're not going to want you taking your Modern Warfare 3 guns back to an older game. They want you to keep playing where the content's fresh and where they're updating that store often. So they're going to keep you on Modern Warfare 3 as much and as long as they can. And it makes sense this way. I don't see a reason to take your Modern Warfare 3 gun back to Modern Warfare 2. I do see where you might find it easier to unlock guns from Modern Warfare 3 in Modern Warfare 2. Like if, uh, say, a Modern Warfare 3 SMG, you can go into Modern Warfare 2, do the challenge, unlock it easier than you could in Modern Warfare 3 due to movement or something different. I understand that, but no, you won't be able to actually do that, which is also a very good point because 
I think this is the best way to do it just because in general it'll keep people in the game and playing also you now don't have to leave your favorite weapon so yes attachments are carried over camos are carried over but there are some things that won't be carried over vehicle skins war tracks and calling cards yes calling cards and war tracks and vehicle skins will be in my War 3 and if those weapons or vehicles excuse me are in the game so say the dirt bike comes back all your dirt bike skins can be used but the amphibious uh, mobile or amphibious truck will not be in Modern Warfare 3. It has no plans to be in Modern Warfare 3. So it will not be a skin that you can use, carry over to Modern Warfare 3. If that makes sense. Like all the stuff that won't be there and vice versa. Like if you weapon charms, if you have a weapon charm and they don't bring weapon charms into MW3, then you don't carry over weapon charms just because they don't have the appropriate slot for you to carry over weapon charms. So it's based off what the game really brings over. And... Honestly, I wouldn't mind if they leave some things out, but I understand where they're going to be trying to, you know, make sure they can bring as much over as you can. And I'm glad that we get to keep our operators. That was the only thing that I really wanted. But let me know down below what you're really interested in keeping or not keeping or things that you don't wish. There has been confirmed that this is no shortage of content. No shortage. So... The content should still be fresh. There is a bunch of gunsmith stuff where if you go into the gunsmith, you should see a whole plethora of Modern Warfare 3 guns. They just don't want to leak that information out yet. So right now you don't know, but there is going to be Modern Warfare 3 guns coming out. There's going to be new challenges, new camos, and all types of stuff. So the game is a full-bledged new game. They stress that enough in their blog post. So I definitely do agree that while some of these things reading and hearing in this video might seem a little off-putting because you don't want it to be the same exact game, I do trust that it's not going to be. They emphasized a lot that we will have new weapons, new camos, new grinds, new challenges, and everything. So it is, it is its own game, but we just get to carry over some more stuff. And like I was talking to a fellow uh, friend, teammate, whatever, he was even saying like it'd be crazy like if these guns come back and you can use the Vaznev from Modern Warfare 2 and it slays everyone. That's not going to be how it works. It's going to be basically how it always has been. The newer guns are going to be feel fresher and with the mechanics they're built around this. So I feel like the new guns are what people are going to play with most of the time. Anyways, this is just a way to make it seem like your money is just not wasted. It has also been rumored that in the next Call of Duty uh, after this one should be Black Ops. And then the one after that will be another Black Ops. Basically like how this did Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. They believe that it'll be like, say we do Black Ops 4 and then Black Ops 5. That is pretty much what they're saying here. Um, all we're doing is basically expanding Modern Warfare 2 while also bringing a lot of fresh new content. So, so let me know down below, does this make you more excited, less excited, or equally excited about Modern Warfare 3? I'm super uh, interested to know your guys' thoughts on it. To me, this is more, um, I guess confirming and more safe feeling than I was originally feeling because I felt like with the carryover it was going to be no grinding for new camos it was going to be all Modern Warfare 2 guns and stuff so this makes me feel a little more safe with spending you know 70 to 80 dollars on the new game um, and buying all the new content that comes out just because it is going to be a new game a full new game so I'm super excited let me know what you guys think below and I will see you in the next one peace